so would you consider yourself a liberal, conservative, anarchist? Uh, what, what well, you... looking at all the things, I know anarchists, I've, I've been friends with anarchists, libertarians, conservatives, Democrats. Uh, I personally would consider myself a socialist, which, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I'm really left-wing. I mean, I want to I wanna get rid of the landlords. I want to... Um, <clears throat> I want the workers to get paid more per hour. I want, I'm, I'm pro union. I'm anti corporation. Uh, and the only ones around that have any teeth, really, it's gotta be the government. I mean, I know a lot of people are scared of the government, but I mean, who's gonna tell BP, you know, to start having a few, um, you, you know, uh, let's regulate some of these, uh, corporations so they don't spew a bunch of oil in the Gulf, you know? I mean, some of these people in the government need to have some balls and just tell the corporations to fuck off is what they need. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're right. All right, so, I mean, uh, someone in the chat room says uh, socialism is where corporations control all, so basically you love the government if you are calling yourself a socialist. No, I mean, socialism has... Uh, no, that's, that's absurd. Uh, so what you're saying is, Socialism is where the corporations run everything. I mean, that's 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 crazy. I mean, I would I, when I think of socialism, I say I, I think of you know everyone has a plot of land. You know, no guy can own you know hundreds of acres. You know, uh, no guy can own fucking shitloads of you know uh, you know it's it's more of a you know land reform would be socialism. Uh, workers' rights would be socialism. Uh, unions, you know. Power to the union, power to the worker. Fuck corporations. Socialists, real socialists do not like corporations. <laughs> so, but I mean, who provides the services like the free health care, the uh, the the you know taking care of old people? I mean, it's it's the government that that uh, takes care of them, takes care of these socialists. Uh, 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 well, every country yeah. in the world, uh, they take a certain percentage of every what everyone makes. I don't like our tax system because I think everyone should be charged the same tax. Like, whether you're po rich or poor, just take 30%. So everyone's on an even playing field. Doesn't matter how much you make, you get a certain amount of money taken out of your check. You know, not like, oh, 15% for the poor or 25% for the rich. No, just make it like 20% for everybody. And so nobody can complain that they're getting more taxes taken out than everyone else. Because whether you work at McDonald's or you're a CEO of some giant corporation, everyone pays the same taxes. And if someone gets sick, you know, and they don't have insurance, they get fucking fixed at the hospital. I mean, right. that's what other countries do. Okay, uh, except uh, America. Yeah, we we have uh, some more more uh, statements and questions. Ha uh, has he heard of the Fabians? Uh, what a secret society! It's like a uh, the Fabians. Uh, it's like a kind of a Catholic. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I've heard of them. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Yeah, they, I, I have. Yeah, I have someone that wants to call in and ask. Are you okay with people calling in asking questions? Uh, yeah, I don't care. Fabian Society is a British socialist movement. Yeah. All right, we have uh, Christy uh, coming on now. She she wants to ask some questions. She's she's really going at you in the chat room. So, okay. So I mean, yeah. I mean, I also like uh, when we have time. I also want to touch on your MK Ultra videos and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, okay. All right. Yeah. So Christy, you're on. Hi there. How you doing tonight? Fine. I'm okay. Christy, how you doing, sweetheart? I just have a few questions, and maybe they're just kind of philosophical, but um, let me, okay, and, and I think that we go through phases of our lives where we call ourselves a label or we give ourselves a label because we're part of a group or because we believe in a certain cause that some type of label is promoting, um, or because we grew up in a ter certain environment and our parents told us, oh, you're a Democrat, or you're a Republican, or you're a socialist, and this is why. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's been words like, um, well, all of the words have actually been demonized, but I think the one that's been demonized the most is um, anarchy. 
And right. the reason I bring this up is because as a, what I thought growing up was a lifelong um, conservative Republican, nothing like, you know, what we're seeing in politics today, but I woke up one day when I, you know, got past Fox News and saw, oh my gosh, wow, this is what anarchy is. Okay, Plato, Henry David Thoreau, Mark Twain, etc. It's not what the news wants to demonize as some crazy fanatic um, bombing buildings or throwing things through windows in protests, wearing black boots, you know, beating up old ladies. Those are feds. Those are cops. Those are provocateurs that work for our government. And so the reason I'm, I'm telling you this story is that I'm listening to you speak, and I think you sound like an awesome guy, a great heart, a lot of soul and passion, but I think maybe... You might be mislabeling yourself um, with the term socialist because, you know, we are living in a socialist uh, dictatorship right now. Um, and, and I hear you where you're coming from, workers' rights, this and that. Those are all good causes, I understand. But when you understand the structure of things, where it comes from, it comes from the same source. For instance, um, let's talk about a famous socialist in history, uh, Hitler. Hitler You've heard of him, right? Socialist. That's fascism. That's different from international National socialism. socialist worker National party. socialism. No, the yeah, national and, uh, socialist and, 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 yeah, uh, I've had party. people. Uh, I've had people bring up the same thing. Now, are you familiar with the Night of the Long Knives? Yeah. Uh, well, no. Let, let where, me. Where let Hitler, Hitler my one thought, day, though. one day, Hitler killed all the fucking union members and all the left wing. A uh, party in one night where he killed them well, all. Well, you're, you're playing left wing, white wing. I mean, I'm sorry, but the right, right wing, left wing, they're two sides of the same coin. But if I could, I'd like to just finish my point about mm -hmm. the Nazis, the National Socialist Worker Party. Um, they didn't become the Nazi with a Z until 1923 when they merged with the World Zionist Organization. So its natural intent was the Worker Party, the Communists, the Socialists helped the people, but it turned. So, yes, Hitler was a socialist. He was well, for why, the workers. Why, if, if, and Hitler was, if, if Hitler was a socialist, then why did Stalin uh, come together with the United States to kick his ass? I mean, I don't understand. Why did Hitler want to attack Russia? Why did Hitler... With the first, before How he many started killing the Jews, oh, wait, 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 before Hitler started killing the Jews, who did he kill first? He killed the mm -hmm. communists. Who did he blame okay, on the I right totally side? I totally hear you. Hitler, and I'm totally... yeah, Hitler fucking, after they, <laughs> they set fire to the Reichstag, who did they blame it on? They blame it on a retarded communist. A guy, some dumbass, I you know, totally who understand. Yeah, I totally understand. I totally understand, and I totally hear you, and like yeah, I said, I'm not, not calling in to argue. Communist. I'm just trying they, to... Well, no, no, actually, they're the same thing, and if you hear me out, you'll understand. So you bring up Stalin, or how about Lenin or Trotsky? Do you know how many people died under their command? Uh, or how about yeah, Mao? Yeah, how many people I mean, died under George Washington's Hitler. command? How many Native Americans died under uh, right? George Washington? Absolutely. How many, how many fucking right. people in uh, Central America right. have died owner. because of dictatorships that were propped up by America? I mean, how yes, many people right. died because of capitalism? We are genociding countries every single day. You're absolutely right. In fact, all right, so since we, we'll no in all of the I, wars look, look, that know, we've started... I know, look, I know, I know that I, America... Can I please finish a thought? I just, I mean, in all the wars that we've started, I mean, in the guise of promoting democracy and freedom, we've turned each of these countries into socialist states. So I'm totally with you and agree with you and totally understand where you're coming from. I just called in because I think that maybe you're not seeing the whole picture and that you're mislabeling yourself. Because, I mean, when has socialism ever worked? I mean, Mao, Lenin... Trotsky, as, as you mentioned, Those Hitler, are extremes Obama, that you bring up, like Bush. Sweden. I mean, like when I was in Amsterdam, if I broke my leg, I'd have no problem seeing a doctor, and I are wouldn't have to. Are you serious? No, who pays for it? You said that you you think that we should pay thirty percent of our income in taxes to pay for you to break your leg? If everybody pays thirty percent, that what does it matter? <laughs> it's it's an even. It's like an even playing field. Even, 30%. Steven? Pay money at the barrel of a gun? 
Oh my God, you're just a fucking stupid fucking libertarian. All right, go fucking Am suck really? Anne Rand's cock. Go suck <laughs> Anne Rand's cock. If you don't care about other people, then fuck off. I don't care about you. Oh, no, you don't care, see, you I, don't care if I break my leg. If I break my leg and I have no place to go, you don't care about me. I don't care about you. So you fuck off. If you're well, telling me to fuck off, then I say you fuck you. off. Demanding money out of my pocket oh, is not... Oh, fuck off! You're lucky you live in this country to be a capitalist and, and be a landlord. You know, other countries, they shoot landlords. Right? Can other I countries, they shoot I fucking capitalists. <laughs> Can I tell you how much I care about you? I care about you and the people so much that I volunteer, oh, let's say 50 hours a week of my time to teach people how to cure themselves of cancer. Um, AIDS, MS, diabetes, all of these diseases that are supposedly incurable. I teach people how to grow their own food and how to treat themselves with the weeds and grass and things growing uh -huh. in their So park. what's your point? <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. This is the Crack Shot Radio. But we'll be back with James Inman and Christy. Oh, God. 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 O